welcome back to my channel and in today's video i'm basically going to be showing you guys how to connect a bluetooth um i mean not connect i'm sorry i'm going to show you guys how to play roblox with a bluetooth keyboard and i actually have mine connected i'll type my name for you so there's my name I'm not typing my last name anyways so <clears throat> there we go and then um how to do this is go to settings and go to accessibility and you're actually gonna have to scroll down and go to accessibility shortcuts and make sure everything is off except um, switch control. So you're gonna press switch control. If you want, you can have assistive um, touch on if you want. Um, so yeah, you can press the assistive touch and then go back to this page. I'm pretty sure like once you're at this, you can press like back. So what you're gonna wanna do now is go to touch, or not touch, sorry, go to switch control and turn um make sure this is off go to switches as you can see i have switches here um i actually made like some new ones but once you were at the switches page here press switches and press add new switch press external and then press whatever key you want so um i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do m okay and then to do this um like to make it easier on yourself put um whatever you typed um i'm pretty sure that you cannot type with your keyboard on this part so you're just gonna have to do it like this i just like to do whatever key i wanted it to be and then dash and then whatever it's gonna be <clears throat> i'm gonna make it uh oh um i'm gonna make it walk you know walk that's for a uh, forward forward okay and then you're done with that press save then press tap once you are done making all the switches you want, go back to this page, go to recipes, and this one, um, I actually need to edit this because I do not need this or this, okay? So, once you are at the recipe page, which is like right here under switches, go to recipes, go to create new recipe, and name your recipe. I'm just gonna name it, um, there we go. And then press assign a switch find your switch i think we did m yep m and then custom gesture so if i want mine to be forward i'll start in the middle go up make it as straight as you can okay that was good press save and make sure it is not on timeout go back press launch recipe and press the recipe you just made <clears throat> okay we're gonna head over to roblox here and if you want of course and if you do not have a like a thingy and you're not subscribed to my channel like you don't have an account and you can't print will let you go ahead and follow my roblox account roblox is free follow my account like please like i only have three followers it's really sad but it's okay do not buy this i swear do not buy it but it's really cute i'll show you how it works if i have time at the end of the video we're gonna test this out in fall peck it's a really fun game even though i suck at it but you know anyways i'm using my arrow keys on my keyboard to do this um As you can see so yeah anyways <clears throat> why do i look like this okay anyways to turn on the switch you made you're gonna drag down this part and press accessibility shortcuts press it and if you don't have accessibility shortcuts all you have to do is go to the control center and find accessibility shortcuts and then add it so now we can use it m isn't that so cool like look at that okay m and it's so cool. Honestly, um, <clears throat> I do not remember how I got the arrow keys to work for Roblox. A lot of people said that you cannot use arrow keys if you have a Bluetooth keyboard. But for some reason, mine works, and I don't know how. I don't know. But anyways, honestly, just get a PC. I have a PC, but I just like to play on mobile sometimes, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night, day, noon, wherever you are. But I hope you guys have a great day, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. This girl looks depressed.